previously on Survivor Roleplay. Hey! Hey, win! Oh, blimey! What is it, Dennis? You just ruined the perfect moment. Oh, win! The farm's on fire. Someone's just torched the house. What of all the times? I'm sorry, Penny. I'm sorry, win. Sorry to force you outside, Penny, but I didn't want to say this near Dennis. Penny, will you marry me? Yes, Win. I'd love to. Win, how much longer is he going to be staying with us? I don't think I can put up with his mining for much longer. He has just lost his house, Penny. Oh, I know. I don't mean to sound inconsiderate, but he isn't very grateful for what we're doing for him. Ah, uh, well just for your information, I'll be moving out very soon. I'm going to be making a lifelong dream a reality, actually. I didn't know you had dreams, Dennis. Hey, you watch it there, Wynn. That's so lovely, Dennis. What are you planning to do? Well, you know the pub up the road? Yes, it's called Saturn's Rings, isn't it? Oh, why? Well, not for much longer. You're looking at the new owner of it. Dennis, that's amazing. Although I like its current name, and I'm sure the locals do too. It just needs a bit of a Dennis adjustment. Oh, here we go. You're probably going to go and call it something like the Rusty Hammer. Oh, oh, I. It's actually not a bad name. The Rusty Hammer it is. Good grief. Well, whatever name you choose, good luck with it. I, I thought I made it quite clear. I'm calling it the Rusty Hammer. Got to admit, it has a good ring to it. I thought it sounded quite depressing, actually. <laughs> anyway, Penny, let me give you a lift to work. Thanks, Wynn. Oh, and Dennis, try not to burn the house down. I'm afraid I can't make that promise. Right. Do you think the farmhouse will be rebuilt? I was thinking about that. And I have an idea. But I need to speak to Peter first. Ugh, oh, what a mess. What's your idea? Well, rebuild it. And then maybe we can move in here and live on the farm permanently. I don't think we have the money. I admit, at the moment we probably don't have enough. But maybe once we're married. Well, we'll have even less after that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't mean straight after. Well, it sounds like a fun plan, but maybe further down the line. Of course. I should probably get to work. Me too. Do you want to go to the pub tonight? Before it goes downhill. Dennis takes over. I think I'd rather have an early night. I've not been sleeping well recently. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Penny doesn't seem herself today. She seems a bit sad. Hmm. I'll have to speak to her later. Anyway, as for the farm, everything is going according to plan. Today is the first day of drilling. We're going to have so much drilling to do. Uh, basically every single field that we own, apart from the grass field and this field here, because this one has already been drilled. This has got winter wheat in it. So yeah, that is all taken care of. And I believe it's all uh, sprayed with fertilizer and herbicide as well. So we shouldn't have to do much more there. I had a bit of a tidy up and yeah, the yard in general is just looking quite a bit neater. Now, it's already all planned. I've already got the machines rented and I'll explain 
as we head over to the dealership uh, what the situation is uh, with the local area uh, but yeah we've got one bag of seed there the drill which we're going to use does not actually apply fertilizer at the same time um, but also we do have herbicide granular fertilizer and liquid fertilizer up here for when we need them in the future and i don't actually have space for the baler so i'm just going to jump into the land rover move this out of the way yeah it's a real shame about the farmhouse um, mrs jenkins actually has been caught and arrested and she has got her day in court uh, in the near future, I believe. So hopefully uh, justice is served. I was just using the case tractor last night to push up the silage pit a bit because I've been feeding the cows and making them happy. We probably don't really want the front loader on for this, but I guess I should keep it on for the time being because I've never actually fitted the drill to this tractor before and it is quite a big drill. So having the extra weight from the front loader and bucket might be beneficial. We'll soon find out. But yeah, let's go to the dealership. It has reopened under the same management, which I couldn't believe. Amazing. Um, I guess they managed to get the money together to reopen and they managed to get some new mechanics. So it is a direct competitor for Penny, um, which is unfortunate and her business actually has uh, lost a few customers since they reopened, but she's still doing well. So that's good. But we're welcome back there now. Um, yeah, all the events that happened there have been forgotten about and I can rent machinery and buy seed and fertilizer and everything and it just makes it so much easier because otherwise we're going to the next town which isn't too far away but it's still an inconvenience. So we're gonna go and pick up Peter Wood's trailer which he's let me borrow and we've rented a seed drill uh, which I've already paid for and we've got two bags of seed to get as well. Ah, it's all loaded. The drill and the seed is already on board. Well, that saves us a job. We don't have a pallet fork here, but they would have loaded it for us. Just man this lady, we don't want to run anyone over. Okay, I think they've kept the same name and everything. And there's still, still got vacancies for more mechanics, so I guess they're just running with the bare minimum at the moment. Okay. As I said, I've already paid, so we are ready just to take this away. We don't need to speak to anybody. Let's put the hoses in. It's all strapped, but the ramps are still down, so they need to go back up. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping that that's not too heavy for our tractor, because it is fully mounted on the three-point linkage. So, yeah, I think Radio wants to be like a 200 horsepower tractor, which we don't have, um, but we'll have to see how we go. Let's just get the hydraulics going. Hopefully we can get the ramp back up. Yep, that seems to be working. Fancy Dennis wanting to run a pub. I thought he just liked to sit around all day. He's going to have a shock. All that work he's going to have to do. Oh, these bumps, they're sending my air freshener crazy. Right, actually, we're going to have to put that uh, pallet fork on, so we'll take the bucket off. Yeah, we'll just put that there. And we'll put the pallet fork on in its place. There we go. And as for this, I think probably just drop it here, but obviously we need to put the ramps down first of all. But it does have stabilizers, so should be absolutely fine once we have detached. There we go. Right, we'll pull the hoses. And we're good. Let's remove these ratchet straps. Lovely. Yep, so get those seed bags taken off. Like I said, we've already got one seed bag at the farm. But it's always handy to have extra. We actually have three. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to lift two without a rear weight, but we'll soon find out. And then we can get the drill filled up and we can start drilling. Of course, it is springtime now. Well, it's very early spring, but it is spring. Uh, so we're going to be putting a spring crop in, most likely a lot of spring barley. That is my plan. 
right let's see if we can get these two it's not not the best angle uh, to be doing this at but that's not bad we can lift them no problem at all this tractor is quite heavy and that's going to be really helpful for drilling yeah we'll just put them over here for now lovely and now we can reverse up onto the trailer once again and we can put the drill on as for the first field it really doesn't matter they all need to be done as previously explained so we'll just pick a field and go for it but it's a six meter working width on this drill so that is helpful right there we go we're gonna have to put the uh, PTO shaft on and the hoses nice well, that seems very very stable we might as well use this seed bag here first of all and there we go we're full of seed. You can see it through the little window. It actually has a really big capacity. That's taken probably almost, well, over two bag loads. The first bag wasn't totally full. Uh, anyway, as we're facing this direction, we might as well just go for this field. It needs to be done. So uh, every field, of course, has been cultivated. We did that last year. So it is just a case of drilling. And then over the next few months, fertilizing and spraying herbicide and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, this is a good test. Will this try to be able to run the drill? I certainly hope so, because otherwise we're borrowing from Peter. Of course, actually this is gonna be the most challenging field of all. It's the steepest, along with the one over there. How's it looking, is that working? Yeah, I would say the tractor isn't 100% happy with it, but it can do it. It would prefer to have a little bit more power, I think. Uh, but obviously we have to use what we've got. We can't just magically get another tractor. We have to spend more money renting. And to be honest, this was actually quite expensive. This, this, is, this is a big drill. I think it was, um, how much was it? Seven, I think it was 750 pounds for four days we might not need it for four days but yeah it's more than the previous drill that we were using which was like I don't know 100, 100 pounds something like that anyway yeah as we're here and it's all working fine let's get this field done and by the end of this we'll have another field of barley that would be so nice Well, is this field almost done? I've seen Penny working away. Such a hard worker. I'll go and see her at lunchtime. But we have another field to do after this one. We've actually got many to do. So I don't know if I should just do the big ones and then come back and do the smaller ones another time. Uh, it's always easier to do the big ones. But really, I want to get the drilling done as soon as possible. We don't want to be dragging this on because uh, the sooner we've got them in the sooner we can start to manage these fields correctly uh, really make sure that they're all doing well they don't have weeds growing in them 
but this is good. I love the six meter working width. That just makes all the difference. We do actually still have the other drill. Uh, I don't think Dennis got rid of it in the end, but that is so small. It is fine for the tiny fields, but yeah, for what we have now, it's just not ideal. Okay, and this will finish this field, and then we'll go to the one over there. Yeah, it's struggling a bit there. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we can get into this next field very easily. There's two ways in. We can go through the shed, but that's sort of barricaded off now with bales. I have uh, used the shed space, which you have to drive through. But luckily, we've got this gate, so we can enter the field up here. Again, it's going to be barley. We're going to have so much barley. I just didn't have the time really to get in crops like canola we just couldn't do it in time but it's fine because barley is good and we'll probably put some other crops in as well I think this tractor would benefit from a front weight also there's a piece just there not being cultivated for whatever reason so we might have to bring the cultivator back into here but as I said the priority is to get the fields drilled so we'll just do that first um, but yeah this is actually our biggest field of all it's a good field. We will look after it. It will be good. It will be a big money maker. Ooh, a bale. It even gives us free gifts. Or maybe I forgot to take it away. And there is field number two finished. Now, because we have the front loader on and the pallet for, we can just go and get the bale, which would be a very good idea because we don't really want it lurking in the field. Also, it's rotting away, which is not good. Uh, we don't want it to crumble when we pick it up. All right, so give it a quick stab. There we go. I'm going to have to head up to the top of the field and then drop back down the other field to get back to the yard. But yeah, that is... Uh, is that another? Oh, there's another bale. Oh, crikey. Um, well, I can actually get both at the same time. That's fine. Providing this one doesn't roll away, which it probably will do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, let's just get that. Well, it would appear that this hedge is actually... Uh, giving birth to bales. There's three in here. We have four in total. Wow. Uh, but yeah, we can take two. Take two for now. And we can just add them to our pile of straw bales in the yard. But don't let Dennis see because he has already told me off for my atrocious stacking skills. There's two. Let's go and get the other two. Watch the drill on the barn. There we go. There might be some more lurkers. Any more bale lurkers here? This hedge actually should be really tidied up. It is very good at hiding bales. Perfect combination. You've got a hill. The bales like to misbehave and roll into the hedge. And then we have a lovely game of hide and seek on the go. We've got one bale trying to slip off there. Try and do that 
Oh, hang on. What's this? The dung inspector? Oh, it's not a new Flitch Riddleford, is it? I will deal with him in just a second. Make sure these are on the stack nicely. Oh, not quite. Dennis will not be happy. I will attempt to put it back on there properly. We're gathering an audience. Who is he? Wait. That's not who I think it is. Is it? Hi. It is, isn't it? 